the great blessing. People always say, you know, learn from your mistakes, right? But what's better is to learn from other people's mistakes and just never make them. Right. Don't you think? Amen. And we have a great blessing. It's called the Word of God. And the Word of God is full of stories just like this, full of men just like you and I, full of women just like all of us, right, who are sitting in this room, respectively. Right? We have the stories that give us examples that we can apply to our lives that show us someone else's mistakes. And the best thing we can do is learn from someone else's mistakes and not make those same, right? We look back and we see someone's folly and someone's wretchedness and someone's wickedness and we behold that and we retain wisdom. And the same thing will happen when somebody lives those things and they tell you, young ones, they tell you, children, don't make the same mistakes I do. Don't do that. Don't take that drink. Don't smoke that cigarette. Don't follow around those, those people. Don't go to that place. And we tell you these things, children. Adults tell you these things, not because they're trying to ruin your fun. They tell you because they're standing on this side with wisdom experience from all the stupid things that they did in the past. And they're saying, don't do that. Right. Don't do that. It will ruin you. It will destroy you. It will wreck you. And you'll be standing here where I am with the damage done. It's already done. All of that past has already ruined what it ruined. And now here I stand. I'm wise. I understand. I know that I have the opportunity to go back and change, and I would never have done those things. But the damage is done. 